What's going on, Rejuvenation? I'm Jordan, and we are back with another Shoe Care Academy episode. In honor of Ugg season, we're gonna be taking on these trash Uggs that we picked up on eBay. So the suede, the foam, the sheepskin, all around is covered in dirt, grime, hair. They're just disgusting. To clean these up, we're gonna be using the Rejuvenator Essential Cleaning Kit. We're gonna tackle the uppers and see what we can do with our three different brushes and all natural solution. Before we set up our cleaning station, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment if you think that Uggs are still in style or if we should stop wearing them. Now that we got all that talking out of the way, for before and after purposes, you already know we only clean one shoe. So let's go ahead and get this boot out of the way. And editors, set up my cleaning station. Thanks, Zion. Now that our cleaning station is all set up with everything in our essential cleaning kit, we have our microfiber towel, four ounce cleaning solution, which can clean up to 50 pairs of shoes, our soft, medium, and stiff brush to fully tackle the entire boot. We did pair it with a couple other products. We have our adjustable shoe tree. Our shoe tree will allow us to put more pressure on this material for the cleaning to get a more thorough and effective clean. Our cleaning mat to keep the entire station looking nice and neat. And our drying rack and bowl combo to hold our four ounces of water that we need to mix with our solution and store our brushes during and after the cleaning. So let's insert this adjustable shoe tree and get to scrubbing. We've really pushed out this toe box material to allow us to put more pressure. They were a little bit smaller than I thought they were, so I did have to adjust the shoe tree twice. Now we're gonna be dry brushing the sneaker. I'm gonna start with the soft bristle brush to really dry brush any of that loose dirt before I go fully in with the solution and water. I don't wanna super oversaturate the suede, so hoping that the dry brush does quite a good job. We're all done with the dry brushing. It did get a lot of the loose dirt off, but I'm also seeing a lot of pilling on the material. A lot of it came off. It's looking like it's already a little bit faded, even without putting water. I'm really not sure what season these Uggs were. They clearly were not the newest version. However, we are gonna still need to clean it with water and solution. We just have to be really careful. It's going to bleed. We can already see that. And we're probably gonna need mink oil in the end but let's just see what happens. I don't wanna put a ton of water into this boot. It's going to absorb it, I can already tell. So we're just gonna go in a circular motion, try not to oversaturate it, and let's hope for the best. All right, what I'm noticing after just a couple of scrubs is that this boot is 100% bleeding. I have some black bubbles on my hand, my towel is discolored, and the brush has some black suds as well. So when you are cleaning your Uggs, be super mindful that the color is going to bleed, especially on black or dark brown. So you just have to be mindful of that and know that you are gonna need mink oil at the end of the cleaning to really bring the color back in that suede. One thing about Uggs is that there is a lot of crevices on the boot that you really wouldn't think of. It has these really thick stitch marks. So you wanna make sure that you're cleaning all of them really thoroughly or the dirt will trap into them. As well as there's like this nylon liner between the midsole and the upper. There is a ton of dirt trapped in this stitching. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with our soft bristle brush and just really get that out. We're all done using our soft bristle brush. We went ahead, scrubbed the entire suede upper, got in all of the nooks and crannies to really get that dust and grime out of this shoe. Now, while it's wet, it looks a lot better. However, once it dries, we do know that there's gonna be fading. We saw the bleeding throughout the entire scrubbing method. So now we're just gonna tackle the midsoles using the medium bristle brush. Then we'll move over to the outsoles, let the boot dry and see what happens. 
I chose not to use the medium brush on the entire uppers just because of how delicate the material is. Seeing the pilling and the bleeding, it was just the best decision for this boot specifically. However, our medium bristle brush is truly the all-purpose brush. Midsole cleaned up really good using the medium bristle brush. Now, all that's left to do is hit this outsole. It is super dingy. We're gonna be using the stiff bristle brush for this. But one interesting fact about these Uggs is that this is actually an EVA sugarcane foam outsole. It even says sugar sole on the bottom, which is super interesting. Never heard of that before. So when you're wearing Uggs, they are made out of recycled materials and eco-friendly. Let's scrub this outsole and finish up this cleaning. Our stiff bristle brush is the stiffest in our arsenal. It works great for outsoles as well as rubber materials on midsoles. Uggs, as I mentioned, have a lot of nooks and crannies, so I am gonna go in and use a microfiber towel to really push out all of the trapped in mud and grass in the bottom of this boot. We're all done with all three brushes on this boot. Now, cleaned up pretty well, got a lot of the dirt and grime out using just the three brushes. I'm not gonna put these in the washing machine because of the suede material and the bleeding. However, one thing I am gonna say is this liner, I'm not 100% sure how to clean it. I did scrub it a little bit using the soft bristle brush just to give it a clean, but I am afraid that it's gonna mat super bad if I do clean it with any other brushes. So now we're gonna go outside and let the boot dry. When you're drying suede, it is super important to let the entire shoe dry evenly. So we use the sun, but you can use a fan. If you allow it to dry not evenly, you can get water marking or some damage and it'll just look a little bit funky. Lola, you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? All right, as I mentioned, we're gonna be drying this outside. We are in Arizona, it's like 70 degrees, definitely not UGG season. If you're wearing UGGs in Arizona, you have about from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. to get your UGGs in. So we'll check those out in a couple of hours and see how they cleaned up. The shoes have been drying for just a couple of hours, but before we go check on them, I wanna address some comments. Now, I mentioned it in my last video, we do read every single one of your comments. We have a customer service team that does reply to each and every one of you, but we are going to start showcasing some comments in our videos. So one comment is from Tyler Cronen Cronenberg, 1471. Is there any way to revive suede? There's a couple different ways to revive suede. It really just depends on what you're trying to repair. If it's color fade, you can use our mink oil, which we are gonna show later in this video. You can also use our dry suede kit medium brush or brass brush to move in multiple different directions and reset that buttery texture on suede. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do, but there is definitely a way to revive. All right, got the shoe from outside. Now, first glance, it cleaned up really good. The dirt came out of the crevices on this material very well. However, you guys all saw the color bleed. These bled like crazy and the fading is because of that. Also, the suede is pretty crunchy. So we're gonna be resetting the suede using the dry suede kit and then bringing some of that color back using some mink oil. So the dry suede kit comes with two tools. It comes with our suede eraser. You can use this for a dry cleaning and erase away some stains. We're also gonna use it on some deeper staining that is still on this material. And then our suede brush. This is about the same texture as our medium bristle brush. You're gonna move it in multiple directions and it'll help bring that buttery texture back to your suede materials. All right, the suede is feeling a lot better after using the dry suede kit. However, there is a different material suede on this back piece. It's a little bit hairier, I would say. So we're gonna be using our brass brush to reset that. As I mentioned earlier, when reviving suede, you can use these products. If it doesn't come back with those two products and the mink oil, you might have to use some sandpaper tricks, which you can learn on restoration videos with Vic on Mondays. Let's try this brass brush. All right, the texture is back to that buttery soft on the suede. It looks a lot better. However, it's still faded. So we're just gonna go ahead and use our mink oil in our horsehair brush to really rub it into this material and hopefully bring that black color back to the suede materials. 
All right, when you're applying mink oil, you wanna hold the can about six to eight inches away from the sneaker or the boot. Move it all in multiple directions and apply even coats. You might need two to three coats to get the results that you want. We do recommend spraying this in a highly ventilated area, preferably outside. Now we're gonna let it sit for just a couple seconds and then we'll be rubbing it in using our horsehair brush to see if it worked. We're gonna take this outside, spray it with repellent to fully protect these so they can go back on feet. Now I see a lot of videos on TikTok and Instagram. Uggs are all over the place trending. People don't know how to protect them. So let us show you an easy way to protect your Uggs this winter from rain, snow, or whatever stains you might run into on the way. Got the suede all revived using our brass brush, dry suede kit, mink oil, and horsehair brush. Those are really the four key products for reviving your suede. Overall, this texture is a hundred times better than it was when we brought it inside. And the color came back pretty good. I'm honestly shocked. I thought it was gonna be way too faded to bring back. Before we bring in the before and after and wrap up this cleaning, all that's left to do is use one more product. We're gonna deodorize this boot. Since it does have that sheepskin liner, it's really thick. Plus, we got it on eBay. They didn't go in the washing machine because of the materials. All that we can do is deodorize it to give it a better smell and disinfect it. I'd say it's a night and day difference. When we got this boot, it was dirty, dusty, musty, crusty, everything that you can possibly think of and incredibly faded. However, when we were cleaning it, it did get more faded than we thought it would. Mink oil and all of the suede products really brought this back and this before and after is crazy. We relied on the Rejuvenator Essential Cleaning Kit to clean the entire boot using the three different brushes, all natural solution and the microfiber towel. We stick. We also paired this with our cleaning mat to keep our cleaning station all nice and neat. Our drying rack and bowl combo to store our brushes and water and solution. And we will also store our brushes in the bowl and rack combo after the cleaning process. To take care of the suede, we relied on quite a few products. We relied on our dry suede kit first. We had our eraser and our suede brush in here to reset the nap. Once we realized that it wasn't doing the best job, we went ahead, moved over to our brass bristle brush to really finish off resetting that nap and getting the buttery texture that we all know and love. We paired our horsehair brush with our mink oil to bring the color back after some serious color fading on the materials. We went ahead, protected the boots from rain, snow, and grease, or really anything, using our water and stain repellent. Finally, we used the deodorizer to deodorize the boot and that sheepskin lining because they're from eBay. We don't know who wore these. That's a lot of products that we're using in this cleaning video, but you can pick any of these up and so much more at rejuvenator.com. Or if you're looking for a cheaper alternative for all of these products to clean and protect your shoes, let me show you something. We dropped an exclusive kit in Costco's. If you head to our website, you'll hit the Costco page, see exactly where we are. This has everything from our essential cleaning kit in here, as well as our deodorizer and repellent. And you can clean 100 pairs of shoes instead of just 50. This kit is available for $29.99, which is almost 50 percent off. Head to Costco, pick yourself up a kit, and bake us later. Now that we wrapped all of that up and recap this cleaning, if you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, drop a comment, let us know what you want us to clean next week, and who knows, you might see it on the channel. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter list to get exclusive discounts, exclusive content, so much more. So I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!